few months ago, I was talking to one of the large egg chemical manufacturers and they said, boy, it'd be really nice for these Roundup resistant weeds if we could get more farmers to apply their herbicides in the fall. And I said, it's never going to happen in the northern part of the country because we got snow flying pretty soon and we've got a lot of things going on in the fall. We've got harvest to do, we've got tillage to do, we've got fertilizer to apply, and all those things are more important than getting the herbicide out. In the springtime, a lot of farmers have time because it doesn't take long to plant in comparison to the amount of time it takes to harvest. So we've got some time to do some spraying then, but to get spraying done in the fall, it's pretty tough. However, if you do want to do some fall application on your farm, we'll give you some tips today. You say, oh, we don't have time to do it. It depends on what you have for weeds. Now, if you're talking about fighting pig weeds, well, that doesn't, that's doesn't a make whole, any, doesn't that's make any a difference whole different... on time with what weeds we have. The uh, point is we're always short on the amount of help we have every fall. What I'm saying is the importance of spraying for a field that has a pigweed problem in the fall is about zero in my estimation. The reason why, it's an annual weed. It's going to die off in the fall, and if any germinate late in the season, I mean, granted, if they go to seed, the damage is already done in your field. So it doesn't really matter if you're putting a herbicide out. Yes, what I'm but, thinking about, but the concern, though, and the reason why these companies want to do it is because these Roundup-resistant weeds get started in the spring before a guy gets a chance to get out there and spray. But what I'm concerned about is these winter annual type weeds. When we have things like mare's tail that may get a start in the fall, or we yep. have you know some of these other tough weeds that Roundup's not doing a great job on, if we get them started in the fall, well, they're already pretty big in the spring, and it gets pretty tough. When you think about going into a soybean crop like this, you can only use an ounce of Sharpen with okay, your Roundup, and that's not enough to get a big mare's tail Yep, plant. but that's a whole different deal. So we've got two things. Are we going to kill weeds that are already up, or are we just going to spray to leave residual for weeds that are going to come early in the spring? So two completely separate things. Let's talk first about killing the weeds that have germinated this fall and are coming up now. So in our operation, for example, when we have things like mare's tail, dandelions, some of these other winter annuals, that pop up, we'll go out there with a very high rate of Banville, like a quart per acre. You can certainly use 2,4-D as well, but we want to use something that's going to hit these weeds really hard in the fall and preferably leave a little bit of residual come spring. But mainly, we've got to get all these weeds under control now, then we don't have them there next spring. Well, I think that is a big thing. And if you're farming wheat acres and you say, I've got winter wheat and cheatgrass is an issue, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You have to kill those things in the fall because they're much tougher to kill in the spring. Now, the other side of that coin, well, wait, yes. let's talk about how we're going to do that. With this cheatgrass in the fall, our suggestion is Maverick has the longest residual, but the problem with it is it has the longest residual. So rotation may be an issue. So a lot of guys, instead of Maverick, will go out with Olympus or PowerFlex. That's the best way to stop cheatgrass and some of these other winter annual grasses in the fall on your farm. Well, I like that you said the word residual and the length of residual. And that's the problem that some farmers have. All right, I've got time to do this. I don't have that big a farm. We've got the acres out this year. Harvest went smooth, whatever. I could do it, but I'm just concerned if I put that product out in the fall that it's going to run out of gas so early in the season. And that's yep. the problem we're seeing in these Roundup resistant okay. weed fields, that they run out of gas early and then we get a late flush of weeds. Well, coming again, we're crops. talking about two separate things here. So we just talked about how we're going to control those fall weeds. Now let's talk about let's put some herbicide out in the fall. We don't even see any weeds out there, but we want to stop some Roundup resistant weeds before they even really get going early in the spring and before we'd even have a chance to spray in the spring. So let's just do it now. So when you look at products like Valor and Authority, for example, they're very good on a lot of the Roundup resistant weeds, but you have to use the appropriate rate if you want spring residual. So instead of using two ounces of Valor, you're going to need to use three ounces of Valor if you go out in the fall. With authority, same kind of thing. Don't be using some half rate, cut rate thing that you might try in the spring to get a little bit of help. You've got to use the full rate if you're going to go out there in the fall. When you do that also, what we suggest is only spray the fields you know you're going to plant early in the spring. Don't be planting something that you say, well, sometimes this field floods out or sometimes, you know, I don't always plant those soybeans or that corn there till almost the first of June only spray the fields that you're going to be planting real early in the spring. We want to get good crop canopy as early as possible. Then we don't have to worry so much about that residual running out. The other thing is you want to make sure you're very dedicated to this is my crop rotation. I right. will be planting corn in this field next year or I will be planting soybeans because if you put out a strong rate in the fall, let's just say that worst case scenario, you don't get very much moisture at all and you don't get very much heat in the fall. You get it out there and boom, the next day you get a little bit of snow that comes over the top and it stays cold all winter and that little bit of snow never melts till the spring, all of a sudden you've got most of that residual left. And if you do, now all of a sudden if it's a product that doesn't fit for corn or doesn't fit for soybeans, you could be in some trouble. Yes, unless you want to go out with something that can be used on 
either corn or soybeans. So Outlook or Dual, for example, they can be used on corn or soybeans. Valor or Sharpen, they can be used on corn or soybeans. At least, yes, with Valor, you can't use it right in front of corn, but you can certainly use it in the fall and then come back in the spring and plant corn if you had to. Now, we don't want to do that ideally. We want to pick the thing that's the very best for the crop you're going to raise. But if you have some things that are in flux a little bit, then make sure you're using something that could allow you to rotate to either crop. Well, this does really work into the layered pre-emerge program that we've been talking about using three pre's ahead of soybeans, for example, where we like to use a Treflan, Sunlander Prowl, plus a Valor Authority, plus some Sencor. Now you may say, all right, well, I'm gonna put the Valor out in the fall. And then in the spring, I'm gonna use some Treflan and Sencor, or some Prowl and Sencor, something like that, where you put some out in the fall, now you've got that first flush out of the way, and then just right before planting, you come in and use the rest of your program. That may be a good way to do it too, and that strengthens your residual program all through the season. Yep, so again, we realize that in your operation, you may not be able to spray this fall because you're too busy. But, like Darren was talking about, if you've got around a persistent weeds, or if you have some bad winter annuals or something like that, you may just have to make it a priority on your farm. I know that's something we've done on a few of our acres where we said, look, no matter what, we're getting this sprayed. So before harvest even started, we had the sprayer ready to go and hooked up, and all we needed was a day or two to spray a whole bunch of acres in the fall. We are just obviously trying to hit the right date. The other real quick thing I was gonna mention, because a lot of guys wanna throw Roundup in stuff in the fall, you know, if you have nothing else, no crop growing, Going out there. Remember that Roundup doesn't work very well after your first hard killing frost. So you can certainly throw Roundup out there if you want to, but a lot of times you don't get near the effectiveness late in the fall as compared to early in the fall. Well, fall herbicide application is certainly growing in popularity across the country for a number of different reasons. One of them may be because our weed of the week is a biennial plant. Can you identify this week's weed? 